If we have a setback or a failure in life, which is inevitable, do we analyze ourselves and see what we did wrong? Or do we immediately outward and blame other people? Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. It's like, as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not gonna be like that all the time. You gotta do it alone. Your number one move is you identify who you wanna be. Who do you want to be? If you and I can figure out who we want to be, and it's as transparent and as clear as possible, I don't have to compare myself against your success. I think that people have to learn to bring the joy. Bring the joy. And that says, you know, you don't have joy. Just like I don't think people have happiness, I don't think people have sadness either. I think that we are generating the emotions and the feelings that we experience in life. And as soon as we own that responsibility, life gets really fun. Following your dreams, is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. You don't believe, nobody else is gonna believe. People come along because your belief is so insane. Let somebody else tell you what you cannot do. But in the process of that, prepare for success. In other words, are you willing to put time in your next move? And a lot of people, a lot of people say things like, I'm not a morning person. I don't really know what that means. I really don't. I, I have 24 hours in a day. I try to take advantage of every hour. And I have certain rules that I initially tell people on a regular basis. If you want to start being, living a successful life, start locking into a consistent time that you should get up every day. If you want to compete in the top 1% of 1% of 1% of 1%, of 1% the price is a bigger price. There isn't a formula for it. You just have to figure out a way how to do it. Is that we have to determine the feeling that we are after and live into that feeling, not hope it lands on us. And that's when someone starts getting real master in life. It is a lonely, scary, dangerous pursuit and you gotta be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe be is in there. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. If you're about to make a change in your life and you feel uncomfortable, that's the best feeling you can have. Because for the first time in your life, you're making a decision that's going to be best for you. Make a choice. Like, you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. We're watching the same world, the same reality, but we experience it differently. Everybody you meet is experiencing their world differently than you are. So you have an attitude that colors what you see. And some people have an attitude that tends towards the negative. And I describe a negative attitude as something that's closed. So you're not open to new experience. You're trying to close that lens. You, want to, you have certain beliefs, certain um, ideas about life, and you're not willing to change them. Right, because that gives you a sense of security. There is a moment in which you are serving people or you're trying to achieve your goal or your dream in which now it is not a preference, it's a must. It becomes necessary for us to excel in this. Like it's not a, a hope anymore, it's not I, I, I should do it. It becomes so necessary that it connects with our identity that we feel it is necessary for me to deliver with excellence here because that is who I am. It's necessary for me to deliver with excellence here because somebody needs me to do well. It's necessary for me to do well here because this topic, this thing I'm doing, I'm passionate about this, I care about this, I want to master this. I'm obsessed. Uh, if I'm aligned with the, my values and principles and my goals and dreams, 
and those two are aligned, I'm the most fulfilled, happiest person alive. It's when you're unaligned, when you are miserable. It's courage, wisdom, tolerance, understanding. So courage, because if you're ever gonna be doing something big, you're gonna face enemies that you are gonna be afraid, you're gonna have to have courage. Once you have your values and principles and they're aligned with the way you live, you're good. If you don't, panic, anxiety, depression, regret, misery. My biggest thing when it comes down to greatness is alignment. Who do you want to be? Once you're aligned with who you want to be in the life you want to live, you start enjoying this thing. You are different. You have something very unique about you. That uniqueness exists for a purpose. If you follow that, if you use your uniqueness in some way, you will create something pretty great. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. And it's like, I always tell people, if no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of the potential. And shoot for perfection is all good. You don't shoot for average, because you're not going to hit, you're not going to hit all the time. If you shoot for perfection, and you hit good or great, then you win it. Don't ever shoot for average. I just, I just try to get people to understand, don't be average. Please don't put a limit on what you can do when you haven't even tried to do what you're capable of doing. Biggest key to success, almost anybody I see that takes it to a whole different level, the highest levels, the difference between them and other people is their sequencing. If my order of steps I take to go here isn't as efficient as yours because your sequencing is better, you're gonna get there faster than I am. And I may not have been, and never even get there. The journey to greatness begins the moment that our deep desires for comfort and ease are overpowered by our desires to connect and contribute. Who you are in your uniqueness is your source of power. The further you deviate from that uniqueness, the weaker you will become. So the, the game in life is to know who you are, to gather skills and train yourself and be disciplined. Take all the things that you've learned and create something unique. People that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to 